And here at home, a Bakersfield protest group brought its criticism of the city's newly passed $683 million budget, which includes $133 million for police protection, to the home of Bakersfield City Councilman and former police officer Chris Parlier early this morning. It's over. There's no more public speaking. Next speaker, please. People's Budget Bakersfield, which raised loud objections to the proposed budget at Wednesday night's contentious city council meeting, planted three brightly painted red signs on the front edge of Parlier's lawn and red paint handprints on his front sidewalk, according to one of the group's representatives, Reddy Patel. Patel said the group opposed the proposed level of funding for the police and called for a boycott of businesses associated with the seven city council members who voted for it. She declined to offer an on-camera statement, pointing instead to a press release issued Wednesday. To me, this isn't about politics. This is about intimidation. And if you're not good with what happened at the Capitol, mm -hmm. you shouldn't be good with this either. This isn't not only trying to intimidate me or my vote, but this is intimidating my family and my neighborhood. The messages on the signs included defund BPD, happy Juneteenth, and Councilman Parier, once a cop, always a cop. The sidewalk tagging got the attention of others on Parier Street in South Bakersfield. A dozen neighbors turned out in their support of their councilman. To me, he's always been very open-minded and able to weigh things both ways uh, and make you know, uh, the right decision. To me, he's an excellent person and, you know, a trustworthy person. He's always asking if everything went, if everything went is, is okay or not. Barlier, who represents Ward 7, that's portions of South and Southwest Bakersfield, said he filed a police report on the incident. Bakersfield police did not immediately respond to a request for comment. I can't thank you enough. Thanks for coming and showing your support. It's unfortunate this happened, but this isn't a reflection upon our, our neighborhood. You know, it's just a wonderful neighborhood. And uh, if anything, I think this is going to make us tighter. Yes. Yes. Yeah, thank you again.